from the U.S. Soccer Federation in Chicago. Welcome to Studio 90, where today we reveal the 2010 Athletes of the Year. It's been another fantastic year for U.S. Soccer, with some truly remarkable moments and contributions from individuals across the national team programs. As a reminder, 50% of the vote came from fans, while the remaining votes came from the media and members of the U.S. soccer community. Now let's take a look at the winners. Gale Agbusamande wins the Young Male Athlete of the Year in 2010. Agbusamande captained the U-20s during their Milk Cup victory in July and became one of the first Development Academy alumni to play for the full U.S. men's national team when he debuted in the USA's 1-0 win against South Africa in November. Bianca Henninger wins the 2010 Young Female Athlete of the Year award. The starting goalkeeper for the USA at the 2010 Under-20 Women's World Cup earned the Golden Glove as the best goalkeeper in the tournament and compiled a record of 9-0-1 in 2010 while allowing just three goals. At the college level, she helped the Santa Clara Broncos to the second round of the NCAA tournament. Abby Wambach wins the 2010 Female Athlete of the Year Award for the fourth time in her career after scoring in double figures for the fifth time in a calendar year. The powerful forward scored 16 times in 18 appearances for the women's national team and helped them qualify for the 2011 FIFA Women's World Cup. Finally, Landon Donovan wins the Male Athlete of the Year Award for a second consecutive year, becoming the first U.S. men's national team player to win the award four times in his career. Donovan spurred the USA to the knockout round at the FIFA World Cup this summer, scoring three goals in that tournament, most memorably the 91st-minute winner against Algeria. Donovan finished as the team's leader in goals for the fifth time in his career and the overall leader in points for the seventh time. At the club level, the Los Angeles Galaxy captain finished the MLS regular season as the league leader in assists with 16 in 24 games, adding seven goals for the 2010 Supporter Shield winners. We are now joined on the line by U.S. Women's National Team forward Abby Wambach. Abby, congratulations on winning the 2010 Female Athlete of the Year Award. Um, you know, thank you so much, obviously, especially to the fans who all voted. Um, uh, I have so many other people that I want to thank, but more, more than that, the fans are the ones that, that make this really happen. So um, thank you, fans, for voting for me, and it's awesome. Abby, this is the fourth time now that you've won the award, more than any other female athlete other than Mia Hamm. After the year you had in 2008 with the injury and the recovery in 2009, it must be satisfying to come back and have a year like this. Yeah, you know, I've always been the kind of person that doesn't really focus on personal achievements or awards, but, you know, having had that major surgery, injury, um, coming at the time that it did, it was, it feels good now to know that I, I can come back and, and still play well enough to um, win those personal accolades, which, you know, for me, it doesn't really matter. I would rather give back every award that I've ever won for a World Cup championship. Abby, it's been a bit of an interesting year for you and the rest of the women's national team with the emotional WPS season, the qualifying and the unexpected loss to Mexico, and then the two pressure-filled wins against Italy to become the last team to qualify for the Women's World Cup. It's been a bit of a roller coaster year, hasn't it? Yeah, you know, I mean, obviously, if I were to five months ago um, look, look at the, the way things kind of uh, came, came to fruition, I would never have imagined losing that game in, in, in Mexico to Mexico and having to play the home and away um, with with Italy. I think that it made us a stronger team. Um, it obviously lasted our season longer than we expected, so now our breaks and scheduling and stuff all had to kind of get reworked and scheduled. So I'm thrilled because it worked out. And after having kind of the long season that we had and we're now in a, in a, in a break, um, it feels a little bit uh, worth it. You know, at the time it was really stressful and I was never unconfident. I, I always felt like we were going to continue and, and we were going to qualify. So, you know, it's good overall for, for our team's confidence going into a World Cup year like we are. Now that you have had some time to reflect on the past year, how do you think that adversity and those challenges will help the team moving forward? Well, you know, I think that challenges and adversity is what makes teams stronger. And I know it's what's made me stronger on a personal level. And I, and I can tell you, everybody um, on the national team feels that way. Uh, we, as a team, the best things that we've been able to do um, have come from the hardest times and, and standing up when we've got, kind of gotten knocked down. 
You've been quoted a fair bit about the re responsibility that you feel to score goals on every team that you play on. You now have 117 for the U.S. national team. Does it impact the way you train and the way you play games, given the responsibility you put on your own shoulders in scoring goals? Um, I don't know if it impacts the way that I train, uh, but I know that the way I feel when I'm out on the, on the, on the field, um, I just have always been able to score goals. I don't know what it is. I have always found myself in good positions. Obviously, my height makes it a lot easier for me to score many of the headers that I've scored. Um, and, I, you know, more than that, playing on this team. Um, it, it's so hard to say what makes somebody a goal scorer or not, but when you have players like Mia Hamm, Christine Lilly, Heather O'Reilly, Shannon Box that put balls literally – it makes it so easy for me to score goals. So, you know, I, I don't ever really create a goal just on my own accord. It's always because somebody else is putting me in a good position. Abby, there's currently a good mix of players on the team, not just veteran players, but some of the younger players like Lauren Cheney, Tobin Heath, Alex Morgan, those type of players. What still needs to happen for this group to mesh together and really become the best team that it can be? Well, I mean, we just got to play together. Yeah, that's that's the key ingredient of any successful team. Um, you look back to the 99 World Cup, the 2004 Olympics, the 2008 Olympics. Those teams were the, the teams that played together the best. And I think that that's what um, we just need to focus on. And we need to focus on connecting up top and connecting in the midfield and connecting in the defensive end. We... Uh, going into our WPS teams, it's hard because you're, you're now playing different systems, you're playing with different players. It's just one of those things that um, you just got to learn how to play with each other. And I'm excited for the future because, you know, Alex Morgan is, um, she's going to score so many goals for this team. You know, obviously A-Rod has been scoring a lot of goals, Lauren Cheney. So I just want to, to, to be able to pass on the torch, if you will, at some point. And, and I know that the, this team will be in good hands when I do. So now that this year is over, even in a more important year in 2011, possibly one of the most important in U.S. women's national team history, even though you're on vacation and now taking some downtime, have you had the opportunity to look, look at what the challenges are that await you next year? Yeah, you know, every single day I think about uh, what's to come. Um, but I'm not really kind of one of those people that looks too far in advance, as many people know. Um, I like to kind of be here now, and I'm really trying to focus on my recovery because this is kind of an essential part of the World Cup. Um, people don't realize that, but our bodies do have to rejuvenate, and our bodies and our minds and our, and our hearts. You know, it was a long, taxing year, and in order to be able to be standing on that top podium, you know, come, come Germany uh, next summer, we have to take this time to really get away from the game, really get back into a normal uh, routine and normal schedule. So this is great. I'm, I'm excited about what's to come. And I think that it's not going to be easy. It's going to be the most difficult World Cup yet. And uh, doing it in Germany on Germany's soil is going to be it's going to be awesome. So excited for it. Well, Abby, thanks so much for taking the time out of your vacation. Congratulations once again on winning the 2010 Female Athlete of the Year. We're all looking forward to next year in 2011 and your success at the Women's World Cup in Germany. Thanks a lot, Mike. Congratulations to all our 2010 Athletes of the Year. That's it for this edition of Studio 90. We'll see you next time.